Miss Myers. Here to interrogate my statues? Ha, oh, no. I'm looking for Ruben. I want to learn more about the Dada movement. I'm not expecting Ruben today. Have a look around the gallery. There's a copy of the Dada Manifesto here somewhere. It'll give you a better understanding of the Dada movement. My office is locked, by the way. How disappointing. I took you for the open door policy type. Oh, one question for you. Do you know a man who goes by the name of Gustav Meissner? Gustav's in his early 40s. Medium height, wears glasses, works as a barber. He sounds very pedestrian. I don't know him. Like you didn't know Vanessa Fiedler? I can't even imagine what you're implying. Upon further investigation, I learned you've known Vanessa since university. We had some arguments a long time ago, nothing significant enough to mention. What about the threats she made against you recently? How did you? Are those significant enough to discuss? I don't respond well to threats, Miss Myers, from you or anyone else. Take what you need and leave. I wonder where this Dada manifesto is hiding. Great! I found the Dada manifesto. Dada manifesto. Psychology, psychology, PE. Science, science, science. Long live France. We are not naive. We are successive. We are exclusive. We are not simpletons. And we are perfectly capable of intelligent discussion. The first four messages from the crime scenes. I have to show Judith immediately. You need to see this. Anna, I'd say come in, but... No, no time for jokes. I rushed over here from the Kneef Gallery. I found a document called the Dada Manifesto. You should see this. Right. I'll take a look. Dada Manifesto. These are the messages. From all four crime scenes. All together in this Dada poem I found in Ruben's things. These murders are connected. Now I'm certain of it. I also asked Elis about Gustav, and she's never heard of him. It makes me wonder whether Gustav was an artist who'd bear a grudge. Against Vanessa? Hmm. Then why'd he kill her? I have something else to share. It's an anonymous message left on my desk today. Lunatic reader? I think it's a Dada collage. Ruben told me some Dadaists work in collage, but that's not all. Look at this letter from Vanessa. Addressed to Iris. Vanessa doesn't mince words with her. This was in the gallery? Yes, it was. I felt guilty and never showed you. I found an interesting photo there as well. Iris, Ruben, and Vanessa. All university friends. Anna, don't say it. I know what you're thinking. He couldn't commit murder. He's not a suspect. I know you love Ruben dearly. Are you able to put those feelings aside? and look objectively at the evidence? I have to talk to Ruben. This manifesto was a published poem. Anyone could have read it, including Gustav. You still think Gustav is the Dada killer? It just seems... Uh, unlikely. The barber's knife, the fingerprint, that's stronger evidence than a university photo. When I have some free time, I'd like to visit Natalie again. Okay, but no details. The investigation is confidential. Oh, my article! Oh, it completely slipped my mind. I'll have to write that first. Is, is there no one here I could interview? Maybe there's more information on the construction work in this building.
Great, I found the construction schedule. Look at these plans. This street will be much improved after construction is completed. According to the schedule, they'll be finished soon. Now all that's left to do is take a few photographs. Good, and one more. The last photo should be perfect. I think I have enough to go on. I wonder how Natalie is holding up. I'd better check on her. She may need my help, given everything she's going through. arrive. I'll take a look around the crime scene. safe key. This must be the key. It has bits on the top and bottom which should fit the lock perfectly. The Swiss Fatherland Association to the Bundesrat. Record of trial, New Switzerland, Judge Natalie Meissner. Supreme Court of Switzerland, National Front, Judge Natalie Meissner. Record of trial, National Freedom Party. Again, Judge Natalie Meissner. I remember some of these cases. They were all brought against these new German political parties for their extremist activities. Natalie ruled in favor of the fascist organizations in all of them. I'll show these to Judith. Great! I found Nazi case files. Wow! A small fortune in Reichsmarks! How did she acquire all this German money? 
Even if she was a frugal judge, Natalie couldn't possibly have saved this much. Anna, got here as fast as possible. Natalie, terrible. Another senseless murder. What's your theory? Let's start with how. I say it was Valerian. Someone slipped poison into her sedative. How do you know? It's just a hunch. Here's the sedative bottle for Dirk to analyze. Is this her x-ray? Can you ingest this many coins? The name reads Natalie Meissner. We should check her medical records. No witnesses, I take it? Actually, I saw someone lurking in the shadows when I arrived. But their facial features were covered. We look for footprints. Anything else? I'm not 100% certain this is relevant to her case. Spit it out. Several years ago, there was a string of high-profile cases against fascist organizations. I remember. Natalie was a judge in many of them. She consistently ruled in favor of the Nazis. Here, see for yourself. Controversial rulings. I also found a large stash of Reichsmarks. Reichsmarks? Natalie was taking bribes. Yes, I think it's very possible. Natalie, a corrupt judge. Never would have guessed. The murder might not be connected to these bribes. The motive isn't entirely certain. However, we are successive is another Dada Manifesto quote. Nazis covering their tracks? Theoretically, perhaps, but more likely, this is the work of our Dada killer. Do you know where Ruben was at the time of the murder? Not this again. Ruben's not the killer, Anna. He owned a copy of the Manifesto and had a motive for killing Vanessa. You and Ruben are a lovely couple. If he has a strong alibi, I'll be relieved for you both. That's... Okay, fair enough. I'll get his testimony. But Ruben's no murderer. I know he's not. Sometimes emotions cloud our judgment. I think we both need some rest to clear our minds. Agreed. Good work today. I'll keep you posted. And mark my words, Anna. These killings end now. Anna, do you know what time it is? We're 30 minutes late to the printers. I'm almost finished with this article. Give me just 15 minutes. Damn. And for missing your deadline, I'm making you work this weekend. That's despicable, Sven. Even for you. What else would you expect from, uh, what did you call me? Editor and cheat? How do you find these things out? One more screw up like this and I'm canning your special assignment. You need to learn how to prioritize this paper's day-to-day -day operations over your own damn ego. My ego? My ego. What nerve. Hilda must have told him. Unbelievable. Okay, time to focus and write my article. This draft is ready to turn in. I just need to attach the construction schedule I found and select a photo. Not my best work. That'll do. I'll turn this into Sven so I can continue investigating Vanessa's case. Sven will love it. And I still manage to hit the deadline. Where's my article, Anna? Where's my article, Anna? And they're on schedule. Is that it? What were you expecting? It's just a standard article on upcoming construction work. There wasn't exactly a lot of drama to mine. This article is satisfactory. Much appreciated. I wonder if there's been a development in the case. I'll check in with Judith at the police station.